Hey everyone and welcome back to Sasha Scents. I'm really glad that you're here today because I'm going to share with you five fragrances from my collection that are definite compliment getters. And these are the fragrances that break through that mask barrier. People are able to smell you through their masks and of course these have garnished me compliments. Now are people running me down, falling over themselves to find out what I'm wearing on a daily basis? No, but these are fragrances that I've worn that do get compliments, whether it's from a stranger at a grocery store to either a friend or a family member. So these are really great fragrances. And of course there are many, many fragrances out there that smell great, that get a lot of compliments, but these are the ones from my collection and I wanna share them with you guys. Now it's always important when you have a fragrance, when it smells good, that's really important, but you want it to perform, especially if you pay the money you pay for a bottle of perfume, you want people to notice it. It's kind of like an extension of yourself, kind of like a calling card, so to speak. And you want people to be able to recognize that scent. And there's nothing worse than buying a perfume that smells incredible and it just stays really close to you. And if that's the kind of fragrance you like, more of an int intimate one, that's great. But these are the, gonna be the ones that are like walking in a room before you do. So anyway, and I wanna give you guys a little update. Now, typically I post two, I try to post two videos a week and you guys have noticing it's been like a week in between each video. I am working with fragrances in the background and I got a job, kind of like contract work for a really big, fragrance company. I'm considered their creative director of editing. So I am reviewing their fragrances and then I also describe them on their site. So I do the writing, the creative writing for those fragrances. I can't really say who it is yet, but down the road I will share that information with you. But they are a big company. They do have some popular fragrances, but I'm really thrilled to be able to work with them and we're talking down the road, perhaps I can do some marketing with them and work with other YouTubers and influencers to talk about these fragrances. They're doing a new launch. And so my closet is literally about this high with boxes of fragrances that I have to work with, smell, describe, all that fun stuff. So I am loving that. And so in case you're wondering why I'm not posting as much as I have been, that's the reason I'm not stopping my channel. I'm going to try and do two a week if I can, but for sure you guys will be getting one video a week. So without further ado, let's just get right on into the fragrances. The first one I'm going to talk about, this is an oldie but goodie, and I swear those oldie but goodies, especially in the 90s, there's something about those fragrances that are really loud, they smell incredible, they perform really, really well, and the first one I'm going to talk about is Poem by Lancome. Now this came out in 1995. This is a great fragrance. I'm really enjoying this one. I do wear it on special occasions. For example, if I go to a dinner or a gathering with family, and when I wear this one, because it is so different and not everybody's wearing it, I get a lot of compliments on this one. And yes, you can definitely smell this one through the mask. But let's go ahead and talk about the notes in this. And the notes, and this fragrance are beautiful. I really like this one a lot. It's very different and it's very floral in the beginning. But so if you like florals, you're in luck. If you're not a big fan of florals, this one might be a little standoffish to start, but then the dry down on this one is just absolutely incredible. You kind of have to let this one settle a little bit into your skin to really appreciate it, especially if you don't like flowers, just kind of wait. It gets really good. There's some peach, Plum, there's Poppy, Datura is in here, Green Notes, Jasmine, there's Vanilla, Amber, Cedar, Musk, Tonka Bean. I mean, that's only some of the notes. And I swear in the 90s, they really put a lot of notes in their fragrances. So there are a lot more, that's only like half the notes, but I didn't wanna bore you guys with details on every single note in here, but you get the gist. It does open very floral. It does dry down to a very warm, sensual, intoxicating kind of fragrance that has an amazing sillage. It projects extremely well. Like I said, this is gonna enter our room before you do. People are gonna notice this and it's a great scent. Now, as far as how long it lasts on my skin, this one is about eight hours, which is 
incredible for me because I have drier skin. So this one really lasts. It really clings to the clothes. You get wafts of this throughout the day. This is a great signature scent. You can wear this one year round without any problems at all. So if you're looking for something floral that dries down to kind of a sweet, woody, sensual type of fragrance, you're gonna love Poem. All right, the next one on my list is another oldie but goodie. I like this one a lot. I'm sure you guys are familiar with this one. This one is Organza by Givenchy. This came out in 1996. Another incredible fragrance, another fragrance that is loaded with notes, like so many notes in this fragrance. Let's go ahead and talk about a few of them. This one is really, really nice. This is, has a little spice to it. So if you like fragrances with some spiciness, you're gonna notice some nutmeg in here and it's really nice. Oh, it's beautiful. And you have bergamot. So if you like bergamot, it has kind of that sweet bitterness to it. And then you've got the nutmeg. So really nice opening. There's also green notes in this one. Jasmine, there's amber, there's vanilla, Gaiac wood, as well as Virginia cedar. Really, really nice fragrance. This is definitely one that projects extremely well. It has an amazing sillage to it as far as longevity. This is about six to eight hours on my skin, which is really, really good. This one is great for year round. Signature scent, or if you wanna use this one for special occasions, you know, a night out on the town, date night. It's different. It's unique, not everybody's wearing it. It stands out and it's from the 90s and some of those fragrances back then are truly classics. Okay, next on my list, oh, I love this one. This one is by Dior, it's Hypnotic Poison. This one is the Eau de Toilette. And if you love almond and vanilla, this is just amazing. It smells incredible, this is like heavenly, it's decadent sweet but not overly sweet this is done just right it kind of mixes with that almond it's beautiful there's jasmine there's some rosewood that vanilla almonds and it's almost a little bit like if you were to take a pastry that almond pastry that's sprinkled with a little bit of that powdered sugar that's kind of what this reminds me of great sillage beautiful projection again going through the masks people will Definitely get a whiff of this and they will love it. It's very sensual it's, as far as how long it lasts on my skin. This one's six to eight hours, so great performance on this one. I would say this one is probably more suited for the fall and winter. It just feels a little heavier to me, but some people like to wear this year round. It just all depends on what works for you and what you wanna do. But another great fragrance, again, Hypnotic Poison by Dior Eau de Toilette. And did I say this came out in 1998? There you have it. All right, next, we're almost done. Thank you guys for hanging in there. Oh, this one. Okay, this is full bottle worthy, and I don't have a full bottle of it, but you can see I have just a tiny, tiny bit left of this one, and this is Tobacco Vanille by Tom Ford. Oh, this came out in 2007. I absolutely love this fragrance. I almost hate to spray it on this paper because I don't have much left. I'll get a little squirt. Yeah, good enough. This is incredible. This is definitely strong. This is without a doubt a fragrance that's gonna enter a room before you do. It's gonna captivate people. It's gonna get attention. People will recognize this scent because it is very popular. Both men and women absolutely love this one. It's got that tobacco in there. It's sweet, but not overly sweet. It kind of has that jazz nightclub kind of feel to it the cigar bar, there's tobacco, there's spices, there's vanilla, cacao, tonka bean, dried fruits, as well as some woody notes in here. And I think they did an amazing job with this one. I really, really like this and highly recommend it. And yes, for me, it is full body, full body, full bottle worthy. And I have to do that. I, I don't know why I've just kind of been slow with adding it to my collection. And I know I'm gonna end up running out of this really quick, so I will have to get a full bottle because it's just, you know, one I have to have, I have to have it. It's great, great projection, great sillage, wonderful performance on the skin. This is about eight plus hours on my skin, much, much, much longer on the clothes. 
This one I say is best for fall winter. It is a lot heavier, that tobacco. So not something that I think would work very well in like the summer humid kind of weather. You could probably wear it in the cooler spring days for sure, but great fragrance. Love that one so, so, so much. All right. And then we're going on with the last one and it's another Dior one. And this one is great. Reminds me of Christmas. I've talked about this one before. This one is Dior Attic by Christian Dior. This is the Eau de Parfum. This is the reformulated version that came out in 2014. So it's a little bit different than the original. Some people complain that it doesn't last quite as long, but I have to say this one really does last a long time on my skin. It's beautiful. It reminds me of Christmas. It's just inviting. It's warm, it's elegant, it's feminine. I just love this one, it's so nice. You're getting mandarin. Mandarin is definitely one that you're gonna notice right away when you spray this, that orange blossom, there's some jasmine in here, and this gorgeous bourbon vanilla. It smells very boozy, it smells very rich. It's just a stunning fragrance, a huge compliment getter, and I must say, usually every time I wear this one, if I'm out, and I've worn this actually to a grocery store before, and I've had people stop me going, what are you wearing? Like I said, it lasts a long time on my skin, projects well, sillage is gorgeous. I recommend this one more for the fall and winter time. It is a lot heavier. I think it would be too much for summer. You could probably wear it in the spring, cooler part of spring for sure. But yeah, way too much for summer. There you have my five fragrances from my collection that are huge compliment getters. They break through that mask. I would love to know from you guys, what fragrances do you wear that gets you the most compliments? Ones that you can smell through your mask. I love reading about different fragrances and I really appreciate you guys commenting what fragrances that you can re recommend for me because I'm always looking to add newer fragrances to my collection. It doesn't matter if they're oldies and goodies or newer releases. I just love hearing from you guys. So comment that down below. I appreciate you guys taking time out of your day to watch my video. Enjoy the rest of your day and stay beautiful inside and out.